can't make me go back in there, Anderson. I've seen them. They're not dead. You can't. And I won't. I won't. <laughs> Anything tastes good. Now, if we go for this franchise deal with the Nips, they get all the food concessions. But the only place you can get a real drink is at the motel we're going to build on that bit of land you own after closing out the Byfield mortgage. Just as well someone's doing all right out of the rural crisis, eh, Harry? I didn't hear you complaining, George, when you found the access road and across that land you got off that soldier settler. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Everyone round this table picked up land from some poor bloke who couldn't make a go of it. We just want to make sure we don't do our day. Let's get on with the show. Didn't we get other offers? <laughs> Did we ever? You show them, Jimmy. There was the Hell Drivers Junior Grand Prix, the Weekend Demo Derby. Oh, and the uh, National Trust thought we ought to do a First Fleet Settlement Town. Complete with circular saw marks and all the wood and nail heads everywhere. Ah, but this one's my favourite. <laughs> Bill Morris's Reptile Park. With Willie coming up promptly at three o'clock every afternoon and wrestling that dumb alligator he's got down there. But this one, Robot Man Theme Park. All non-institutional colours, wooden rides, 20 different pavilions. A memorabilia, all featuring this large metal bloke. Rocket Man. Robot Man, Terry, for God's sake, get it right. <laughs> Even my sister's kids are mad about the thing. This will become the biggest attraction in the Southern Hemisphere. Land prices will appreciate 400%. So, uh, why are they doing us this favour? <clears throat> Ownership of an attraction by a local council facilitates access to government funds and offsets debt servicing costs associated with appropriate capital borrowings. Yes, and? Look at this place, it's ideal. There's no unions to worry about, no labour organisations, no crime. Well, old Charlie might steal their chickens. Well, just joking, Jimmy. How do we know we can trust the bastards? When Kinoshita gets here tomorrow, you'll know he's one of the good ones. I thought there was only one good Jap, Harry. It's talk like that, George, that can have us all back fiddling the figures on our wool board subsidies. I've spent two years squaring these little lemon bleeders away, just so we can see a legitimate return on the faith we have in this district. I don't want anyone's big mouth getting in the way at the last minute. We just want to make sure we're doing the right thing. You said there was a problem. Show them. That's the problem. That goddamn monument's the trouble. I did understand why them army fellas wanted to build the thing so far away from the town in the first place. Why couldn't they bury those Vietnam guys in the town cemetery along with the men from the big show? Everybody said because there were so many of them, it'd be more respectful if they had their own monument. The army blokes wanted it that way, did the work themselves. Set a remote location to discourage protesters. Protesters? Here? One of your first land deals, if I remember, Harry. Somebody had to sell them the space. Besides, that was 18 years ago. How was anyone to know it'd end up in the middle of the land we'd rezone for Robot Man Park? Show them. What are you saying, Harry? Let's knock the thing down. Get the lights, Jimmy. 
We can move the remains to some other place. Look, I've got as much sentiment as anyone. My nephew's buried out there. And where's the disrespect in moving those fellows further down the hill, somewhere where Kinoshita can't see them? But no one ever goes there anymore. Anyone that even notices Jimmy's Uncle Charlie, who keeps his van out there. We can give him a job as night watchman or something. Okay, Jimmy, you can do the rest later. You sure it's all right to talk in front of that black fella? Huh. Jimmy's no problem. Had all the nonsense knocked out of him in the city. Three years of the tech and he still ends up back here. That's taught him something. Could we do that, Harry? We're the town council. Well, there still is a town with commodity prices going down the drain. Bloody yanks. Look, the Wargraves people haven't been here in 12 years. I didn't think we were even on their books. There's always something funny about that monument right from the first place. My guess is they don't even know where it is anymore. Nobody gives a ruse fart. Well, I move we adopt Mr. Mayor's solution to the problem of the monument. Any opposition? No? Fine. I'll get the contractors to move in first thing tomorrow morning and demolish that thing before Kinoshita flies in. You never know what sort of reaction a thing like that in the site may have. Now, this man is the Pacific representative of one of the largest conglomerates in Japan. His uncle started the business. I don't want anything to go wrong. Come on, Harry, you've been plotting this for years. How can anything go wrong? Kanashita says he's very pleased to visit your fine town. Oh, well, uh, this is just the airport, uh, which we're going to develop, of course, to cater for all the visitors to the theme park. <laughs> now, we've got a real surprise for you, Mr. Kinoshita-san. <laughs> now! <laughs> oh, oh, Bortoman! <laughs> And Mr. Kanashida says he is very glad to see that Robot Man has come to his new home. <laughs> and is pleased that he is surrounded by koala bears. <laughs> Leaving now. Over. This is the real Australian bush. Swagman. Not like this in Tokyo. <laughs> At all. I've walked a lot of meat off them sheep. Mayor Ransom set the rates. He said we've got to take cuts for the good of the town, with the rural crisis and all. Well, what about this hat? Didn't come cheap, you know.
Mr. Kanashita says he is most impressed with your traditional Australian oh. hospitality. <laughs> Some are speaking English. I'm tired of doing Mr. Moto. I don't know how much more of these bumpkin farmer types I can take. After the first million, it was supposed to be easy. Imagine what this reception they're supposed to be giving in my honor is going to be like. So what are we doing here in this flea bar? Haven't you worked that out yet? We're here because in this hick town, they don't know how to be greedy yet. What do you mean? This is a place where they still see graft in terms of getting a new hot tub or putting their mother on the payroll. Are you sure it's going to be worth it? You've done well enough out of it already. You've been very generous, Takashi. But uh, you almost think of a future, especially one who doesn't have family connections with the business. Well, as you tactfully raise the subject once more, I'm not going to damage mine to make my executive assistant feel more secure. I've said you'll have to trust me. You think it's easy? Being a girl from Singapore and Japan? You've never had to be just one more business school graduate, lining up at the personnel offices with 20 others, being interchangeable. To me at least, Yashia, you will always be unique. Well, this is one unique graduate translator executive assistant who'd feel more secure, more grateful, if she had a contract that gave her a percentage. We've been over this before, often. I can't put anything in writing. You ought to know that by now. Are you so afraid of what your uncle might say? You're going to have to stand up to him eventually. There are times when I regret the loss of the traditional acquiescent Asian woman following her man with lowered gaze. Like your wife, you mean? Okay, killer. You're in charge now. worth being so generous tonight. You think they want their wives to entertain this visiting heavyweight? Does that mean I have to do it with a Jap? You want to do it with Piggy Ransom? Take the Jap.
guys to get rid of that stuff from the war museum. Take it easy, Harry. We've got to get all those things back where they ought to be for Housey Housey tomorrow night. Harry! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, Harry! Oh, Harry! Oh, Harry! We're going to have a good time with you tonight. Oh, all right, lady. Come on, girl! Those yobbos play the Japanese national anthem when our boy arrives. Do you know the Japanese national anthem, Harry? One of those kids. Harry, none of them's ever been further than Kalgoorlie. So one of them even know the Australian national anthem. Hey, here he is. Kinoshita, <laughs> I'd like you to meet some of our local community. Councillor King, <laughs> I'd also like you to have a good time while you're here. Like everybody who will visit Robot Man Park. Dance Australia theme. What? The Australian National Anthem. Isn't it? Hey, you reckon bringing that lip sheila makes any difference? She's a bit of all right. Don't you worry. Rita knows how to get these fellas' attention. These Asian blokes go for white women. people of your beautiful town. Uh, he feels that Robot Man has already found a new home. Well, what's so special about him? Ever heard of Kinoshita Toasters? Huh? Well, that's him. Oh. Mr. Kinoshita, Miss Rita. Lovely to meet you. Expecting an outbreak of cholera? I don't know. Harry's covered the cabinets, blowing up the war memorial, turned off the eternal flame. If the old diggers could see what was going on here, they'd spin in their graves. What do you do for entertainment around here when you're not babies visiting celebrities? Well, we've got TV, and they reckon we'll get a second channel next year. And then there's Rideau in March. You're putting me on. We'll do that, miss. You don't think too much of all this, do you? It doesn't pay to have too many opinions, miss.
good, Jimmy? All right, George. Sure beats hell out of dip and shape. Mr. Kanashida seems to have overcome the language barrier. It's been a long day. I think I've just about finished here. Is there some way I can get out of here without making it too obvious? Go past the Kokoda room, turn right at the Gallipoli honor roll, and you'll see the front door.
uh, your boss is busy with Madame Rita right now. I... Traditional form of resignation in this town. Saves all the paperwork. Remind me never to give you a job. You'd better not stay here. Mr. Mayor will be meaner than a cut snake when he wakes up. Is there another hotel in town? No, but you can stay with some friends of mine. They're a really great family and they'll take good care of you. It's not the time of night to drop in on people. Won't they mind? Ferguson's all right. They can't stand ransom. Tell them about this and they'll welcome you like a daughter. Come on. It'll be the high point of their week. I'll let you be dressed. Still up. Come on. I'll see if I can find some coffee. You feel better once we find out about it. Talk to someone.
Give me those. But they're Italian shoes. Get away from him! That's far enough! Get the message while to bunch. Look, don't tell me what time it is. This is an emergency. Not just a few shearers, man to the drink. Oh. Officer needs assistance. Ah. Ah. What the hell's Brigadier Solai? Ah. No, don't. Hello, Brigadier. I've already seen them kill some poor fella. I need support right away. Now, if you spoke to anyone, you would have been Sergeant below. I've only been here about three years. The monument? I've no idea what's happened to the monument. Look, I didn't want to have to say this because it sounds like I'm crazy, but I just shot one of these fellows, a 38 slug, straight through the chest, and he kept coming. What the hell is Operation Body Count? I want the tactical support group. What? Yes, I, I did see something in the manual, but what the hell's that got to do with it? Listen to this, what Christ said. Charlie, what's going on? Who were those guys? This is Yoshi. She, she's a friend of mine. We were in Lizard Gully when those guys in the army stuff started killing people. Is this a typical night in the Australian bush, or have you arranged something special for us visitors? Dead fellas. Come out of that cement thing. Fellas that was killed in the war, come back again. The Vietnam Monument? That's impossible. Who were those three guys in the rainbow dance paint? I'm glad you see that. That was your dad, your uncle Wally and Joe Wombat. They come back because I need them to help me with them dead white fellas. Why'd they go like that? You don't understand. My dad and the others have been dead for ten years now. Hey, come on. I never heard of anything like this. I never thought you could do that stuff. You was always more interested in learning white fella school. Maybe it was better for you. 
There's not much use for the old magic now. You wouldn't have believed it. Jeez, Charlie. They've gone now. Dead fellas don't like to come back. Live fellas change the place too much. They never do what the dead fellas wanted. That's why people are afraid of them. Dead fellas can get real mean about that. Those soldiers, are they still there? They've gone into the dark places. Look, the sun will be up soon. They don't like that. You'll be all right now. We can't stay here. I want to go back. Are you worried about the robot park guy? Takashi and I have been together a couple of years now. I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. Look. Them fellas don't last long once you put out their lights. I think we better Blokes have got you too. We're still getting people in with stories about being attacked in the middle of the night. Pretty wild for us too. What's it all about, George? No one knows. All we can get on the radio is static, and the phones are out if things aren't bad enough. Everyone's got a different idea. Do you know anything? Look, uh, can you give us a hand? We've got a problem with the bodies. There just isn't enough space to pack them in Hoadley's freezer. We're putting them in the back of the store with ice. I'd like some help. Sure. You be okay for a bit? Thank cripes it's over anyway. I just wish the emergency services would get here. I wouldn't be too sure of that, George. Bill, been looking for you. What do you mean? We're on our own. The emergency services aren't going to arrive. It's too dangerous for them. Too dangerous? What do you mean? Those fellas are gone. There's not a trace of them. They'll be back. They don't like the daylight. But after nightfall, they'll be everywhere. Worse than before. I don't want to start a panic, but we've got... <coughs> Hold it. Stay back. In there. In there. It's horrible. It's another one. Well, there's only one way to deal with these characters. Constable Jackson, wait. What are you doing? Look, the poor thing's trying to tell us something. What is it, dear? Don't let them frighten you. I'm calling a meeting of the office. I want everybody to know what we're up against and what we've got to do about it. Well, the same sort of thing happened in the States about seven years ago. 
Those things are the soldiers from the Vietnam Memorial. They were never really dead. Come on, Bill, I saw them buried. I was at the service. I've been paying out pensions on some of them for 20 years. Well, the story I've got is this. During the Vietnam War, with all this starts, the Cong were up against the most sophisticated military machine in history. The Yanks had everything. Helicopters, defoliants, computers, laser weaponry, heat-sensitive displays, all the high-tech stuff. The Kong had none of that, but they had their own version of biological warfare. What are you getting at, Bill? They reckon they fell back on a kind of folklore medicine, where they let loose all these people who'd been infected with some virus plague. They were already half dead, and sustained themselves by attacking everyone they could find, spreading the infection. That's the Kyung Si. I remember it when I was young. What's that, miss? Couldn't be. The undead. It's just a horror story that the peasants used to tell. A, a fairy tale. No one ever believed it. Well, that thing in system aerial surgery was real enough to me. Well, I wouldn't have believed it myself until last night. But Jimmy's been out to the memorial. That's what he saw. Yes. Thing has been knocked down. The place is crawling with them. So why in blazes, if what you're saying is true, did they have to bring them back here where this could happen? Bringing the bodies back was a very emotive issue at the time of the war. I remember Harry Ransom making a speech about the sacrifices the troops had made and, uh, and what we owed to their memory. Yeah, and making a packet out of flogging that stretch of bush to graves registration to build that thing all the way out of town. Well, they figured it would be safe. They had them sealed in an inert gas container that you'd have to blast to break. The Yanks had the same sort of trouble with a batch of air troops who'd been infected at somewhere called Wilmington. They thought they'd have to nuke the place for a bit, even had to call out the National Guard. Imagine the effort they put into keeping that out of the papers. Anyway, this emergency plan, which I only found out about last night, was put together after that. I'll take care of that. I'm the Civil Defence Commander in this district. It's too late now, Harry. We all know about the War Memorial now. What do you mean? You let them put those soldiers that were effing disease-ridden monsters right next to the town just so you could make a few bob. What monsters? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. The whole story is a flaming disgrace. The district regiment, men drawn from most of the farms around here where there was still a town of 800 people. Just about all of them got killed when they were lying about, doped out of their heads, and their perimeter was run over by the other lot. No one wanted to be reminded about that. No wonder the services people didn't want them buried in the town cemetery along with the men who did their duty. Harry, you sent your nephew off to that war. You were on the draft of Peel's board that turned him down. What's that got to do with it? I treated Trevor the way I treat any other. No one can accuse me of favouritism. Come on, come on, come on. I can't do anything here. I'm going to see if I can find Takashi. Keep quiet. We've got enough problems without this kind of thing. Serious charges have been made in this room. And when the emergency team get here, I'm not going to forget. There's not going to be an emergency team, Mr. Mayor. Says who? It's spelled out here. Quite clearly, the strategy is containment. Seal off the contagion. You mean seal in the contagion, don't you? You can't mean to abandon us. To catch you. Takashi? Uh, I'm looking for Takashi. Do you know where he is? Ah, uh, come on. There's panic in this room. But you did him one of those things this morning. What makes you think we can't look after ourselves? We've got guns, we've got ammunition and plenty of people. They reckon they're not so dangerous in the daylight. The one we got was below par. It's at night you've got to worry. How would you know? Believe me, Harry. I know. You look better now. Find your boss. 
No one seems to have seen her. But anything could have happened. The whole town is in a panic. I guess Takashi can take care of himself. He's done martial arts. All that stuff. I got something to him. It's pretty ordinary. What? No rice and green tea? How'd you know about rice and green tea? I used to go up with the exchange students into the city and watch Asian films. We'd all cheer when the Chinese hero beat the stuff out of the white guys. What I really loved, though, was Seven Samurai. I never saw that movie. I was doing business studies during the day and singing in the clubs at night. That's where Takashi saw me. Jimmy, will you get after him? I told people I didn't want them going off on their own. The old maniac's just going to make things worse. Got to go. I'll come too. I don't want to be left here on my own. Okay, I guess. Quick, before he gets too far ahead. Trapped. I've got to check what happened to Laurie. You sure you want to see this? Okay then. Only walk on the tire marks and be very careful. Nobody's going to believe this. Oh, yes, they will. Get a shot of this. It's another one. Where's Bill Jackson? How many is that now? Fifteen, Bill. We're still waiting to hear about the Brown place. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Did you get down the airport road? Is that blocked off too? To the right. 
worse than that, it blew up all of it and fell right in front of us. Another one that injected in the back of the hardware store. It's a nasty looking boot. Well, we better think about burning off these carcasses. The way they look, they must be the source of every disease you can think of. Wrap them up in sacking, they'll burn better. Now all this is tied up with the Vietnam Memorial. I'm going out there, and I would want you to come with me. Look, that's where those things are coming from. Man, I'd be mad to go out there. No one would go out there with you. If that manual is right, those things keep their distance during the daylight. Besides, there's so many of them now, there's no place any safer than another. We've got to check that memorial, otherwise I'll never know what's going on. And I want one of you to take me. Isn't there one man with enough guts to drive the vehicle? I'll go with you, Bill. Oh, that figures. I thought they'd have something like this here. <laughs> Been in the concrete for 20 years and still transmits. They knew what was happening here well before they got my phone call. They had the whole night to tie up this area so nothing sort of chance of getting out. We didn't see anyone, just the signs. They couldn't have done all that in one night. If they can drown a Prime Minister, blow up the Sydney Hilton, or get rid of a government in Fiji, making a place the size of Lizard Gully vanish wouldn't stop them for a moment. You can bet some joker's already handed out a scenario to the press. A disastrous bushfire, or maybe the creek flooded with terrible loss of life. I can tell you there's characters sit around doing this kind of thing all their lives against a stopwatch. They're probably sitting in the canteen right now, telling each other what a great night they've had. Brigadier Solon can guess what that means. Unless he wants to come and find out. Hey, Jimmy? I'll see you in ten minutes. Hey, don't you give in on me now. Stuff like this just hasn't happened to someone like me. Landmines. Drunken cowboys trying to shoot monsters out of Harakami. I should be on my way back to Tokyo by now. Got a franchise meeting on Thursday. Might have to phone that one in. Look, I'm not just some kind of dumb bra that came in for the ride. I speak five languages. They did a profile on me in Business Week. In ten years' time, I would have been one of the top women executives in Asia. You figure all this stuff is kind of undignified for you. You think I'll be lucky enough to see the sun come up, don't you? Maybe we all will, but I won't kid you. I didn't exactly have your rosy future. But I don't want to be eaten guys with green skin and bad breath myself. I thought all those Kyung Si stories were just dumb legends. I was always more interested in things like this. You know, I could use this company car to buy everything in this town. I think we can use a few more shovels. You know, I'll try to see that nothing happens to you, if I can. Oh, Jimmy. I wish we were in Tokyo. I could show it to you. Where the street lamps bright in the sky at night. And no one wonders why you're there. Because it's so big. It's like everyone had a right to be there. It's nothing like this. The gully wasn't always like this. It was different then. The stations were doing well. That was before the young people started moving on. The tribe still had a lot of people here. So when I got that scholarship, it seemed like everything changed. People didn't trust me anymore. Even Charlie, who was really close. So why'd you come back? There's no work in the city. Even the white kids are on the dole. I'll try again next year. Everyone here seems to trust you. That car. 
He was watching to see what you're going to say. Who, Jackson? Well, he's not an animal like Malone. The other one was. But he's still a copper, and I know, if there's ever any trouble, I'm black, and he's not. You ever had that kind of trouble? No. He's had more problems than anyone. They sit around in the pub trying to figure out what he did in the city to make them send him all the way out here to wait out his retirement. Must have been pretty bad. Jimmy. What a way to meet people, eh? Come on. There's a meeting in the lockup. You've got as much right to be there as anyone. Out of the brown place, they're all dead. We've searched everywhere else. What happened on the airport road? Laurie Fowles tried to get out, and he got himself blown up. I think it's impossible to get out that way. Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, Warren, did you get the pub locked up? Things are bad enough here as it is. No, things have started, all right? They put Operation Body Count into effect without giving us any warning. Bastards. We'll see about that when I get out of here. I'm sure there'll be great concern over that possibility, Harry. However, there's a fair chance that neither you nor anyone else here will ever get out. The whole plan is to keep the problem in this area. It's as if we were confined to a village attacked by the Black Plague in the Middle Ages. Holy ghost. We're trapped in here with those things and there's no way out. And we can't stop them. As soon as it gets dark, every man, woman and child in the district will be slaughtered. Maybe even the dogs and the sheep. And there's nothing we can do about it. Why didn't you tell them, Jimmy? You got something to say? Jimmy's uncle managed to get rid of a swarm of those things out by the memorial last night. He used some kind of magic. Oh, come on. Okay, Jimmy. Tell us what happened. Charlie, he's a tribe's way of handling bad spirits. Do we have to listen to all this black fella stuff? Go on, Jimmy. He called up the spirits of the tribe. And they drove up the soldier guys. Speared one of them. He decomposed in the sun while we watched. What's left of him is still out there at the monument. A wooden spear? You saw this happen? I didn't believe it either. But it's just like Jimmy said. They came and went out of the dark. Out of nothing. That does it. Look, there's a 90 mile perimeter. They can't have sealed off every foot overnight. The men around here have known this place all their lives. We can get out. And we can show those guys they just can't wipe off a whole town. Forget all this mumbo-jumbo stuff. What do you say? We can use magic against these creatures? I've been fighting these primitive religious fantasies all my life. But we still find them amongst the native peoples here. It's a tragedy. But Jimmy's such a nice boy. I'm sure he's a Methodist. Listen, Jackson. Don't think I don't know what you're on about. You've been trying to white hand my authority around here ever since you arrived. A lot of the men don't like an outsider coming in and throwing his weight around. At least I wasn't returned to office by threatening to call in the notes I had on properties around here if I didn't make the numbers, Mr. Mayor. You got to fight about this now? Listen to Jimmy. All right. All right. Let's hear it, Jimmy. Well, Charlie says he can fix what he calls bad dead fellas. Call up spirit warriors. Dead friends who know all about this. Oh, come on. I've known Charlie all my life. He's never said anything about ghosts or blokes that don't die. You see it now, but you still don't believe it. Charlie knew you all thought that he was a silly old black fella. How does he get this help? He sings to them. <laughs> he sings to them. <laughs> and they'd help us? No. The tribe wouldn't help you. This is a white fella's town. They don't like it here. Oh, for the love of Mike, how long are we going to listen to this? We could all become like the soldiers in the monument. Never able to die. It'd be like a terrible disease. It never gets better. Never gets better. No. Charlie can help us. What do you mean? He says he can bring back the dead white soldiers. Out there. Town War Cemetery? Saying you can get the soldiers from the graveyard back again to fight these things? Are you going mad, Bill? You can't believe this! I've seen people we all knew were dead walking the streets. I've seen things happening I wouldn't have believed possible. Half the people in this town have been killed because of it. I don't know 
matter what I believe anymore. Beyond the fact that when the sun goes down, those things are going to be coming out again. Charlie says the white soldiers will come. It's their town now. What do we have to do? Open the graves. Desecrate the cemetery. You mess with the place where half the men around here have got family and they'll turn nasty. <laughs> you haven't got a prayer of getting help around here. He's right, you know. The men around here wouldn't stand for it. Especially if they thought it was because the blacks wanted it. Okay. I've lived with this Captain Cook business. Most of the time it doesn't worry me, but I'm not about to get killed for it. I wouldn't be here now if Charlie hadn't known what to do last night. You've got no right to do in me and Yoshi and everybody else. Nothing like that, Jimmy. Do you want them to do what Charlie says? It would be sacrilege. Oh, no. It's too far-fetched. Too right. You, uh, you try it. And I'll be back with half a dozen blokes who'll soon put a stop to anything like that. Suppose I were to shoot one of them for obstruction. Would that change their minds? Come on, you guys. Come on, get it. I guess we were when you think about it. That cop doesn't believe in anything you're doing. He just wants to keep everyone busy, not thinking about tonight. Bill Jackson. He's getting pretty weird. And he's the one trying to hold everyone together. I think he wants to go off somewhere quiet, but he can't. Sister Muriel said nothing's going to do him any good. Not penicillin, not anything. That's where they buried her husband. He died in the repat hospital of wounds that he got in the war. Fighting the Japanese? Harry Ransom's getting some men together with shotguns and trucks. They're going to try and rush the airport road. They say they're not going to have anything to do with all this. Let them go. Wouldn't it be better if we stuck together for when they come at us? Those cowboys will come apart in the first minute. We got rid of the Yahoo element at least. You didn't go with them? Uh, no. Uh, do you want me to give you a hand? I've got to go with Bill Jackson. Dead ones.
And I buy, and I buy, and I buy, and I Muriel, is that you? Bill?
Where's Yossi? The women hid. I came back for Bill Jackson. He's in a bad way, couldn't keep up. We'll have to find him. We can't go that way. It's full of the things.
they doing? White fellow soldiers are working it all out. Hell, what's going on? Charlie, can't you stop them? Dead white fellows won't listen to me. I don't think they like Desert Gully now. Don't worry, my mom. What are they doing with the coffins? I mean to take them out of here. I guess they expect things to be different. You want to go over there and talk them out of it? You knew this could happen, didn't you? Dead fellas will get real mean when they see what happens after they go. They've seen us. Let's get away from here. more of them out there. Marking out where the mines are on their way through the field. We can go the way they do. 